Today I thought we would talk about calcium, very important nutrient. In terms of where do I get my calcium if I don't like dairy? And this is a common question I get. Hello and welcome back to another Nutrition in Mind video. I'm Katie Dalton and I'm an accredited practicing dietitian and nutritionist. In this video, I go through non-dairy sources of calcium that you might like to try if you're either avoiding dairy or don't like dairy. Each day, we require about 1,000 to 1,300 milligrams of calcium. When we talk about a calcium-rich food, we're talking about a food that when you have one serving size, you get about 300 milligrams of calcium. So to get that 1,000 to 1,300 milligrams served per day, you should ideally be having at least three serves of a calcium-rich food. When we talk about calcium serves, you usually hear us talking about dairy. This is because dairy has very concentrated amounts of calcium in it. So to get that one serve of calcium food, you only need to have a glass of milk, a small tub of yogurt, or two slices of cheese. Whereas other foods that do contain calcium, you'd need to be eating huge quantities to be getting that same amount. So dairy is just really convenient and easy to eat. But then you think about, well, what if I don't like dairy or I can't tolerate it, don't want to eat it? What do I do? There are still ways to get your calcium in and so we'll be talking about that now. So our best source of calcium that's not dairy would be our dairy alternate milks that have had calcium added to it. So here I've got soy milk, oat milk and almond milk. You have to look for the brands that have had calcium added to it rather than organic brands which don't often have calcium added. This is one glass of this dairy alternate milk and this will be the same in terms of calcium compared to cow's milk. Our next best calcium alternative is tofu, hard firm tofu. So this is soybeans that have been pulverized and then coagulated with a calcium substrate. And so from that calcium substrate, you get your serve calcium. This here is 100 grams of firm tofu and this is how much you need to eat to get that same equivalent calcium as you would in a glass of milk. It's not that much compared to other foods you might need to eat to get the same amount of calcium and those who are tofu phobes, um, I say give it a try really depends on how you cook it but I personally love tofu and if you're a vegetarian vegan this is a great alternative. Our next dairy alternative for calcium is a tin of sardines. So in one tin of sardines you get a bit over um, the amount of calcium you would in a glass of milk. It's about 350 milligrams of calcium in your one tin of sardines. So sardines are little fish with their bones still in them. So that's where you get the calcium from, as well as great protein source and omega-3 fatty acids. So really good alternative if you like sardines. We also have something like tinned salmon. So this doesn't have as much calcium as our tinned sardines. This has about 150 milligrams. So about half the amount you'd get from a glass of milk. So if you liked your tinned salmon, once again, good source of protein, omega-3 fatty acids, you, you do get a bit of calcium from this, but you just need to make sure you're eating other calcium foods because this is about half a calcium serve. Now I'm going to talk about other sources of calcium which you might hear of, particularly online, as people saying are good vegan sources of calcium. And these I would say are not your go-to for your calcium sources just because the amount you have to eat to get that same amount of calcium as you would from cow's milk. So first up we have bok choy. And this is about 360 grams of bok choy. This is how much you need to eat to get the same amount from dairy. I'm not sure about you, but most people struggle to get their five serves of veg in in a day. So 
unless you really love bok choy, eating this amount in one serve is going to be quite difficult. And if you're trying to get your three serves a day, that's a lot of bro um, bok choy you need to eat. Another one you commonly hear about is broccoli. So this is almost a kilo of broccoli. And this is roughly how much you need to get or to eat to get the same amount as your one glass of milk. So once again, even the most fond broccoli lovers will have a bit of a hard time eating this much broccoli and this is only one serve of your three calcium serves in a day. So you can get calcium, oops, can get calcium from your broccoli, but not as much. You also hear of people talking about almonds are a good source of calcium. They do have calcium in them. This is a bit over 100 grams of almonds and that's how much you need to eat to get the equivalent of your glass of dairy milk. So usually one serve is about a handful of almonds each day. That's a great amount to eat. Protein, good fats, but eating this many would be really hard to get through. Nuts tend to fill you up really well, which is great if you have a problem with snacking, but you'd feel really full after all of this and you'd have a hard time getting through it. Another source that's often spoken about are figs. So here I've got some dried figs. This is 150 grams of dried figs. And this is how much you need to eat for that one glass of milk. This is a lot of fruit and I would not recommend eating this much in one day because of all the sugar in it. And you might get an upset tummy. So about three of these are your one serve of fruit. And there's almost 15 in there. So that's a lot of fruit to be eating to get the same amount of calcium. So here I have chia seeds, which are also another source of calcium. This is about 50 grams of chia seeds. And this is how much you need to eat for your dairy equivalent. These have not been soaked, and so anyone who's ever seen soaked chia seeds, they puff up really big. You need a lot of water when you're eating these. So I would not recommend eating this much dry. I'd put maybe a few teaspoons or a few tablespoons in um, something you're cooking, but you're not gonna be easily able to eat this 50 grams in a day. Once again, lots of fiber, really hard to eat that much. And another source of calcium is hulled tahini. So you often hear of people saying sesame seeds are a great source of calcium. They are, but you have to remember they're encased in this shell, the hard outer um, sesame seed shell. So you need to really pulverize that to get to the calcium inside. So if you're relying on sesame seeds for your calcium, tahini is the way to go because it's already been pulverized up. So the calcium is there ready to be used. Um, however, this is another one where you do have to eat quite a bit to get the same amount as in your dairy or dairy alternatives. So you need just about five tablespoons of this to be equivalent to your glass of milk. So what a day without dairy but with enough calcium would look like would be your glass of dairy alternate milk with calcium would be your 100 grams of tofu at either lunch or dinner and then maybe some sardines on toast. That would give you your daily amount of calcium that you need so that you then don't have to worry. Hopefully that's given you some idea on what you can do to get your calcium during the day if you don't want to eat dairy, making sure that you are getting your required serves for your calcium requirements. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and I'll try and get some more out as soon as possible now that I have a lot more time with lockdown. If you have any requests for topics or ideas, please let me know and otherwise stay tuned for more.